What's happening, people? Today we are here with a Wi-Fi bell. Now, it's been a long, long time since I made one of these. Reason why is because obviously, like I said from my previous Wi-Fi bells, Citra is not working out for me for some reason. But now I finally figured out thanks to this amazing dude with his YouTube video on how to work Citra with these uh, bell editors. Bell editor? Yeah, some bell editor program. And so I've uh, been able to work Citra out to its fullest potential. I can change just about everything I need to with the uh, Verse Seeker features, or I mean, Wi-Fi battles in general, I guess. So, I got that figured out. Thank you guys for nothing. <laughs> so I did figure that out. Um, and we're right here with the Wi-Fi battle. Now this team, this team's premise is that, well, how many more days till Halloween? I count too. There's a Halloween theme team. So. Yep, this is, uh, we're using Mimikyu and Mega Badance. I do have another team based on Halloween. You guys are going to be seeing that very soon. I'm going to show that probably when Halloween starts. So, uh, yeah. Amazing Mo, time to get your ass whipped. I'm kidding. <laughs> if you guys don't know Amazing Mo, he's a pretty decent battler. I mean, pretty good battler. Uh, this battle is going to show you what I mean in a second. Oops, that's the wrong battle. Sorry, I don't know what that was. Anyways, Amazing Mo, how you doing, man? So, I'm gonna leave my awesome, amazing Mega Manette because my Mega Manette can honestly just tell me what I'm he's holding on whatever Pokemon he leads off with. I was thinking Landorus. I want to know what type of variant it was, Choice Scarf, or if not a lead explosion set. So, I'm gonna leave my Manette, obviously, for that reason. But he's gonna leave with Elite off with Zero Aura. I mean, his Life Orb. Because of that purpose, I'm gonna try and figure out what I can do against it. Um, because his Life Orb most likely means it has. Hit our ice, so what I'm gonna do is uh, watch out for that. <laughs> but right here, I also know for a fact he has too many Pokemon to take a Will O' Wisp. He has Feeny, this Heat Ran. I'm not going for Will O' Wisp. <laughs> I know for a fact he's gonna switch out into something trying to preserve his Zero Aura, not trying to get burned. So I'm gonna go for the Shell Claw. But unfortunately um, for me, this Landers is defensive. So I know that, so I know what variant it is, but also is holding a Rocky Helmet, which is very annoying. But also, um, because I he switches his landers, I'm thinking that he doesn't think that I have Will this or something like that. Maybe he's thinking I'm an offensive variant or whatever. Not many, not many people know about Mega Burnett. So I am gonna go for the Will this but unfortunately he's not gonna catch me slipping. He's gonna switch into his top of Feeny, which is ridiculous because if he knows anything, he knows what Mega Burnett does because which is why he's switching switching into his Heat Ram. He thinks I have will o -Wisp, and if he knows that much, he must know that Gunk Shot is a thing on Mega Bennett too. But he must know my personal set on my Mega Bennett's because he's been watching my stream on. <laughs> because I was streaming at this time. So he, um, he's gonna switch it to his Top of Fini, predicting me to go for a Wisp, and go for Nature's Madness. That's gonna do a whole lot of damage because I'm intimidated with my Mega Bennett, I have to switch out. So I'm gonna switch to my Magirna, but he's gonna catch me slipping yet again and switch it to his zero aura. Now that was risky as hell. I had no reason not to just floor cannon with this he ran being so weakened. But obviously he got me. And uh, I am gonna go for Dazzling Gleam now as he switches into his Tangrowth. Now he thought I was gonna switch into my Apollon at that very turn, which was what which was a good move, I think. Not entirely, because if he switching top of Fiend would have been better. But anyways, he is going to switch into his Tangrowth. I'm going to switch to my Mega Bennett against it. <laughs> because my Mega cannot touch it. And, uh, if he wants to go for, say, I don't even know. I want this thing dead, honestly, because I do have a Greninja. Uh, I want his Feeny dead more. But if I can get this thing out the way, that's just one of the off my plate. Because, uh... Uh, I just need I need something going on here with my Greninja on on the field. I could just start wrecking stuff, but uh, this fiend needs to be weakened. He needs this that Tangrowth gone. So I'm trying to figure this out. With that fiend and Tangrowth on the field, I cannot do anything. So with my Greninja, that is, and, and get really aggressive in this game. Right now, he's just walling everything I do. There's not much I, of what I can do against him. He's right here. He's gonna switch to his fiend against me. Preventing me from uh, sending up, uh, uh, preventing me from burning anything. And now what he's gonna do? It, it hatch, but the thing is though, he's gonna forget that he is uh, not affected by misty terrain because he is on in the air, 
and I'm gonna burn him, which is absolutely perfect, because now that's going to mean that I can set up against this thing with my Mimikyu, because it's burned, he cannot touch my Mimikyu really at all. So, uh, and then I can just set up Sword Dance against it, and he can't do anything much about it. And he has no prior on his team either. Well, he does, being that Mega Medicham, but they can't go for fake out on my Mimikyu. Anyways, I'm going to switch into my Impalon now against the Leonorus. I know for a fact he's not going to go for Earthquake or anything like that to um, kill himself with the Destiny Bond or anything like that. He could have, but there's no point. He could just U-turn. It's a better move, honestly. I knew he was going to do that, on really, but I couldn't take the chance of him killing my Mega Bennett. Because I need one of his walls dead, or just something. So I'm going to switch into my Lyos against this Heat Ram, because he, he switched into his Heat Ram against my Impalon. I'm thinking he has Bloom Doom, like one of my previous battles in my streams, but he's gonna reveal he has Corkscrew Crash. I was thinking, yes, okay, if he has Infernal Arbor Drive, I could take that. If he has Bloom Doom, I could take that. But he has Corkscrew Crash. Why Corkscrew Crash over, over Infernal Overdrive or Bloom Doom? What? So now he's got me with that. He killed my Lyos, and because well, I don't have my Lyos, I am in a hugely terrible position. My Lyos was supposed to switch in against his Feeny and cripple it, taking away his leftovers and giving a choice scarf. That way, he can't get any recovery, and every time it switches in against my Lyos, it just gets dwindled and dwindled. And with the stuff that rocks up, it just makes matters worse. But obviously, that did just, it didn't happen. He killed me with a corkscrew scratch, and now I'm just screwed. I don't know what to think of now. Um, I'm gonna get myself rocks and poison this tank growth. That's a start right there, because now I can just figure out from here where I can kill this tank growth. The tank growth now is not too much of a threat anymore because it's poison. He has no heal battlers or run with therapy users, obviously. No, I see no Cafable. So, uh, that's good. He is not earthquake me, predicting my Bagirna for some reason. Uh, that's not happening, but uh, all I'm going to do now is now switch into my Magina. Actually, no, I'm going to go for the slack off to um, dwindle him. I don't want this thing uh, because I can recover off more HP than what he's what, than what his Giga Drain can do, potentially. I don't know. I have to see how much this Giga Drain does. I do have special defense investment on my Hippalon. Right here, he's going to switch into his Fini against me. And that most likely means he's going to the fog. So he does not want self rocks on his side of the field, which is annoying. It also makes sense because his team is just like it's just bulky offense. Honestly, I just I just know his team is fat, and I just know he's gonna keep switching in and out. And I know he just doesn't want rocks on the field. But if he gets rid of rocks, he's gonna grab rocks on my side of the field as well. So that gives me some sort of benefit, not entirely. I need rocks on his side of the field, otherwise this, this is going to be an impossible game for me. Because this team, he has counter switch ins to everything. My Mergeron can't do much of anything. You can't say he ran. He has he has too many switch ins against I can't Vol switch, he has two immunities. Um my Greninja gets walled by his feeding and his uh tang growth. Um that's about it. The only Pokemon I can actually think of doing some real damage in this game is my Mimikyu. That's the only Pokemon I got right now to wall break or do anything in this game. Because you're gonna see, I caught him slipping right here. <laughs> I caught him slipping. I switched into my against this Tangrowth and I double switched into my Greninja. Going for the Hydro Pump, but obviously you can see from that Hydro Pump that there is no way I'm getting through this Fiendy with my Greninja. Not if I, I needed to trick it with my Latios in order to cripple it. And I need a rocks on the field. That was my game plan. Poison, going for the Tossic on the tank growth in. Or just giving my stealth rocks and killing it maybe with my Mecha Bennett. And then for the Feeny, I was going to trick it. That was my best bet. And now without any of those, I am I am sadly mistaken on thinking what I can do in this game. My plans are almost ruined. With that, with that Feeny on the field, I can't wall break with my Greninja. And I can't do much in this game either. My game plan is to get my get my Mimikyu on the field and wreck shit. So, but the thing is, in order to do that, I need his Landers on the field. It's the probably the best Pokemon that I can step on. So he is gonna switch into his Ravioli against my Tink Palon. I'm gonna try and send my stealth rocks, but unfortunately, he has Taunt. 
And because it gets taunt, I can't slack off or I install out this tank growth with this poison. So I am going to be forced to, um, actually, I didn't even know why I did this. I stayed in with my hip on instead of switching out. I had no reason not to just switch out. I thought he was going to really need to switch out by going for Earthquake again, like he did last time. But he is going to go for the Giga Drain. That's... I can stall this Tangrowth, but uh, obviously I cannot because I'm taunted. Uh, at this range of HP, I'm a decent amount where I can take a hit from his um, Heatran, I believe. Maybe. And some, and some other things on his team. Who knows? His Zero Aura as well. I can take a hit from Ice. So, I'm going to be forced to switch into my Maguna now, as he is actually going to predict that, which is unfortunate. I don't know why you would... Well, obviously, no. I was, I was forced to switch out. Otherwise, my opponent died. I should have switched out in the first place. But, uh... I don't know. You should have just kept spamming Earthquake, honestly. Because I was taunted and everything. It's the best move to switch out on the first turn. But he predicted it on the second for some reason. Because I was obviously supposed to, forced to. But, uh... Right here, he is going to Giga Drain me. He is going to die next turn, so he's forced to switch out. He went for the good thing he could kill me off and finish me off, but no, unfortunately, that's not happening. Magirna is bulky. And uh, he's going to switch into his Heatran as I go for the Dazzling Gleam. I can't go Revolt Switch. He has too many things, too many immunities. <sighs> he seemed wallet to me, honestly. I can't do much. So, he is going to flash cannon my Magirna taking me out. I'm not going to switch into that. Well, I do. But uh, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to switch into my Greninja now. He obviously has too many things to switch into me. Not the Green Growth, but the Feeny, which walls the crap out of me. But here, this made no sense. Him, him staying in with this Heat Ran against my Greninja made absolutely no sense. Because he... If I have Hydro Pump this Heat Ran and got my Battle Bond, I would have been so close to winning this game. But obviously, he's going to stay in, risking me to not to go for the Hydro Pump. And that right there revealed everything I need to know. I know what type of player he is. He's the type of player that makes such bad and ballsy... He makes bad, ballsy moves. He does it. And I know what type of player he is. Now, because in this entire game, he's been trying to preserve everything on this team. And right now, I know for a fact he's going to... Uh, Switch out of his Heatran after I set up a Swords Dance. He knows he can out get outsped. He's gonna switch into his Landorus now. I knew it. I knew it. I knew for a fact he was gonna do this. This is the type of player he is. He's, he sees me with a Swords Dance. He sees I'm all set up. He wanted me to, to set up a Swords Dance and then switch into his Landorus to get the Intimidate and then switch out into something else to finish me off potentially. But unfortunately, it did not happen. I knew it. He was gonna do that. <laughs> Which is why I set up other Swords Dance, and then another Swords Dance, and now I'm just going to keep going and going until I can get up to plus 6 or plus 5. And that way, I can Shadow Sneak at 0 Aura and finish it off. It's not a Focus Sash, and nothing else takes a hit. So, he just screwed himself. He should have never stayed in, and, and you know, he should have never switched to, uh... He should have never done that. I knew what type of player he was at that moment. Right when he's standing with that heat ran. Because if I had got my battle bond, he would have been screwed. But he made the ballsy play of thinking, knowing I full well wouldn't. And I wouldn't dare make that um, that move. Because I've been making so many double switches and uh, predictions on his obvious plays. And so I made the prediction on his obvious play. And because he thought I was going to play it safe from out, from now on. Because I just lost a Pokemon from thinking that he was going to switch out from his Heat Ram from my Greninja into his Feeny. So, he thought I was going to play it safe. I didn't. I played it ballsy. And I, because, because I knew he, what type of player he was at that moment. So, he screwed. I got the plus six. And at this point, it's just a sweep. You can't stop me. So, that's, that, that's something you just don't do. You just don't make ballsy plays like that. In a situation like that, because it, and he continuously did it, and so I got him. Because he should never stay in with the he ran. I knew what type of player he was. He had no reason not to switch in the Phoenix against my Greninja. He had all the momentum in this game. Nothing was going anywhere. Even the, like, what real switches do I have to, to this Phoenix? 
He had no reason not to just switch out, but he did it. And now, he's screwed. Right here, I'm gonna go for my zoo move against this damn thing and kill it. Fuck you, flingy. <laughs> Never ending nightmare. Yes, die. Yes, yes, everything is dying. Now at this point, everything is screwed. I win. He, uh, he has fake it on this match I thought he had Shadow Sneak um, Bullet Punch for a minute because he just switched into this match jam against me uh, previously. But uh, yeah, as you see, I'm gonna be his ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yes, I do. I am gonna win this battle. That was um, pretty dang risky. Um, me sending him an extra sword stance against that he ran. But but right on that play, I knew it. I knew when, right when he stayed with that he ran against my Ninja what type of player he was. I could have gone. I would have gotten back some type of momentum in this game if I had had I uh, hydro pumped his he ran and got my battle bomb with my Greninja. Because after that point, I just I can get try and set back here. I mean, I try, I can try and get bring it back in the game. But he obviously made that a uh, very ballsy play and I was able to win this. Um, was my Mega Bennett still alive? Was it? If it was, I think I had a plan actually. I lost my Apalon, my Lyos, my Magirna. I still have my Mega Bennett. Okay, so yeah, I did have a plan this game. Hmm. Well, he made the ball to play, and he decided to do that. Yeah, I did have to play this game. Had I um, hydro pumped that type of thing, I mean, had I hydro pumped that heat ran, I would have, I would have known what to do from at that point. But uh, yeah, he made the ball to play, staying with the heat ran. I knew what type of player he was immediately after that. He was trying to preserve all of his pulp coin as well, so he also screwed up on that. Uh, lots of guys on my uh, stream were telling me that he made a mistake on that part, and that. If he had he not done that, he would have won. But obviously, I lose battles from tiny mistakes all the time. And I lose fair and square. So, this man lost fair and square. So, maybe he got swept by me. He made a ballsy decision. And he risked. He, he played. Pl he paid the price. Next time, play is safe, buddy. Oh my god. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. We, have, we will have some more um, battles later on in the field chart. So, thank you guys for watching for today. We'll be back soon. Peace.